What's up, Laker fans? The Lakers had their best defensive performance of the season last night in a 101-86 win over Sacramento. Let's take a closer look at how they did it. Let's start with one of the few areas where they struggled, Kyle Kuzma on switches. The Kings look to get him matched up with De'Aaron Fox, and Kuz has no chance on these because of how much he hops around rather than sliding his feet. He'll continue to get beat by quicker players so long as he continues to do this. So Kuz ends up having to play off of him to compensate on this one, and Fox knocks down the open jumper as a result. But Kuzma was excellent off of the ball, demonstrating some of the best anticipation I've seen from him. Here, Tyson Chandler has to help out on the back cut, meaning that Kuz needs to drop down to help Chandler. He does exactly that and gets the strip after a bit of an errant pass. He usually reacts late to plays like these. The Kings try to execute an elevator screen for Frank Mason here, and you can see Rondo calling out for the switch. Kuz reacts immediately and steers the play in another direction. This is another example of a play that he would normally react late to. He trails Bielitsa beautifully off of this screen and bothers the shot from behind. And here's some fantastic back pressure on Fox when they set a ball screen for him in the second half. I'm surprised they didn't just look to isolate Kuz on this the way that they did in the first. This was easily LeBron's best defensive effort of the season, and that made a huge difference. Here he moves his feet to ice the ball screen, and then has a nice contest on Shumpert's step back. And here's good help defense from him in transition. Here, LeBron closes out to Bogdanovich's jumper and has a nice contest. He leaks out afterward, but the Kings get the offensive rebound. He doesn't really bother Bogdanovich's second jumper, but how often do you see LeBron run this hard on defense? Josh Hart continues to perform well defensively as the backup four, and last night he locked up Marvin Bagley. I love this adjustment by Luke Walton because it accentuates Hart's strengths while masking some of his weaknesses. Watch how Josh battles here. I don't know what the hell Willie Cauley Stein was trying to do last night, but JaVale McGee and Tyson Chandler took turns shutting him down over and over again. A lot of these were in hedge and recover situations, where JaVale and Tyson would contain on the pick and roll ball handler and then get back to Cauley Stein to contest. The Kings are one of the fastest teams in the NBA, and the Lakers did well to get back on defense and wall off penetration. They were fantastic on the off-ball screens that the Kings like to set for Buddy Heald. KCP gets behind Heald here to lock and trail on him and does exactly that, funneling him into Chandler with good back pressure. Heald struggles on these.
Even a play like this chases Heald off of the three-point line despite the lack of back pressure. Watch how Brandon gets over this ball screen, beats Heald to the spot, and contests with his length. Heald also helped the Lakers out by missing some wide open shots. The excellent execution of these coverages by the Lakers meant the shots that were open for the Kings were floaters, runners, and pull-up jumpers from mid-range, which are some of the least efficient shots in basketball. If the Lakers can defend like this on a somewhat regular basis, they're going to be an excellent team. The Laker Film Room is dedicated to helping you enjoy the Lakers on a deeper level. If you'd like to support the work that we do, please subscribe to the channel and click either the Venmo or Patreon links below. Alright, that'll do it for this one. I'll catch you guys next time.